Charles, and Vanessa. And we're going to be breaking down the double Saida. Um, this Saida is really a variation of the woman's Saida that's going to test the first and fourth position of the woman's Saida for the leader as well as the follower. The follower. Yes? Yes. So let's go ahead and break it down. Um, our typical woman's Saida is five steps. We start off one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. I did basic three at the end, but that's a 53. That's in another video. All right, so um, on the fourth position of our woman's Saida, we're going to initiate a new Saida, hence the term double Saida. So one, two, three, four, all my weight is coming back onto my right foot, guys. From here, I want to start my new Saida, huh, like Ricky Rose. Yeah? Um, this is 90-10, meaning that 90% of my weight is back, I'm sorry, forward on my left foot, and it's going to be back on the right foot for the ladies. Yeah. And from here, I'm just going to start my new Saida, which is going to mean starting with the right, shifting the weight, disassociating, stepping back, and closing. From another angle, double Saida, one, two, three, four, and hum, six, seven, eight, one. Yeah? Um, really, um, on the fourth position and on the first position, I'm going to make sure that I'm really sending my intention forward on top of my left foot. If you take a look at here, my shoulder, my hip, my heel are all coming forward. To, and that's going to be speaking the Saida that's going to be walking forward, coming back into my third position, fourth position, again, huh, Ricky Rose to start the new one. Yeah? Once I get this down, it does not end here. Any pattern that you guys learn, you always want to make sure or see if you can get to start to play around with the timing and with directional changes. Yeah? So take a look at this. Um, I can start my woman's Saida going straight, yeah? One, two, three. On the four, I can actually come through and start a new Saida. Five, six, seven. Twist, boom, para, para. Twist, boom, para, para. And finish. So now I'm taking the same move and I'm playing around with that. I can also play around with the first step of my woman's Saida and start to turn at a 90 degree angle, um, which is what we call a sprinkler step. Um, the sprinkler step here will start off one, two, three, twist, sprinkler, pa, pa, twist, sprinkler, pa, para, para, boom. Same move, same core concept, but I'm able to play around with the directional changes because we all know Kizomba is a circular dance. We're going to have Vanessa talk about the ladies. Okay, so my follows, ladies. On the first position, it's important, as you all know, to step back. But this will be critical when you're doing the second Saida of the double Saida. So, when you're doing it, two, three, four. And then again, on the first position, step back, two, three, four. If you don't step back, or the lead will step on your feet. Not good. Okay, and the second thing is on the fourth position. So, um, it's important on the fourth position to step back in front of your lead. Um, if you stay off to the side and you keep doing um, these double saida, like Charles said, can continue to do, you're going to end up going off to the side and you won't be able to dance. So, if you're on the fourth, or one, two, three, on the fourth position, go in front of your lead. If you stay out here, watch what will happen. Incorrectly? So, incorrectly. One, two, three, four. <laughs> and then we're off center. And then if he continues to do it, I'll get even more off center. So one, two, ah, doesn't, doesn't work. So um, if we stop in the fourth position, do it incorrectly one more time. OK. One, two, three. Incorrectly. So I'm definitely feeling a pull here to my right. It's throwing me off my axis. But basically, ladies, you want to make sure that fourth position is stepping in line with the ladies. Not out here, but in line. And that should be the case for all of your, of your women's saidas. You're going one, two, you're stepping out, you're exiting, and then you have to come back in, and then we finish. 
So watch out for that, the first position and the fourth position, and you'll be rocking your double slide eaters on the dance floor tonight. Um, if you guys enjoyed the videos, there are others like it. Um, we're putting some free information out there for you guys, teaching the Neo Kizoma method, which is our method that is ending the frustration of learning random steps, patterns, and techniques in class and giving you a structured and focused way to learn Kizoma. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.